Hello and welcome back to Roy's the Boy. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, test the coil on a Briggs & Stratton engine using a multimeter and possibly if I could find one if I have one uh, laying around it'll also be an SV150 engine so let's go and have a look. Okay right so first what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the uh, multimeter now as you notice on this multimeter at the moment um, i have two black wires that's only good because today if i just show you quickly um, the positive one broke so i had this spare black one laying around anyway so anyway you put the positive one into the com and your negative there onto the right hand side now what you should do is first of all really when you're doing your multimeter is turning it on i will put the backlight on no i don't want that that's it just so you can see it as well turn it around to the continuity and if you touch the two prongs together you hear that noise and then you know your multimeter is working Right, so first of all, we are going to test a Briggs and Stratton coil. Now, this one I got, um, it was off a dumped lawnmower and it didn't have the cap on it. Uh, but I kept the coil and other bits just as spares. So, what you do is, is you turn your dial yeah, onto the 20k on the multimeter which is just there and if i lift it up as you can see it's on to 20k right anyway and then what you do is next you get your positive and you stick it onto the wire there or in i'll show you on another one and then you touch the put the earth bit on where you had your bolts the ground and that should go give us a reading there that is two six seven now Briggs and Stratton coils they go between 25,000 and 5,000 homes ohms so this one's it's getting down to very lowish but it's this is a good uh, coil even though it is in a mess and if I do need one for emergency I could use it and this one's also is a another one another Briggs and Stratton um, once again inside it it's, it's a bit dirty but put it inside give it a little scratch and also then touch the negative bit and there you've got one there it's going 279 so it's 2790 ohms or 76 60 ohms um, also on these Briggs and Strattons you have a, a primary which is the kill switch so you can test that as well so once again you just keep your uh, prong positive in the what's the name and then just check the where the kill switch goes and it should give the same readings now this one here is uh, also a uh, Briggs and & Stratton and this is off a 5000 no this is off a yeah 5 horsepower engine uh, if I put the positive down it's got a very good brass solid connector so if I put that inside there like that like that and then Put the negative side onto there now I'm not getting any movement on the multimeter if you have a look so this one here shows you it's got no resistance in it and is dead even though it's got a very good uh, connector but I will keep this connector and I will use it some something else now I did find an SV150 engine, uh, sorry, coil, 
Now these ones, uh, you do the same thing. If I don't get your leads tangled up. Once again, you put there. Now these have different. What well, these ones go up to 10k between 5 and 10k. These ones. So if I put it onto there, as you can see in the multimeter, I've got 5.98. So that goes to show that is a good uh, coil of a SV150 engine. So what I will do now in a minute, I'm going to get an old mower and with the coil on the engine and I'll show you how to do it there as well. Well I didn't have any uh, lawn mowers hanging around really that I could uh, mess around with and take the recoil covers off. So I had this old engine sitting under the workbench, um, it is in dirty condition it does have the uh, ignition coil on it so first of all what you have to do is just underneath there is the kill switch wire so you have to take this off After that, pull that out of the way that's it anyway then first of all you get your plug connector uh, once again and then you just scrape around the bottom of it or holding it onto the side something there and then you take the other negative side and we're getting a reading of 2.62 so that goes to show that is also a good coil so that's how you can check it whilst it's still on the engine okay as you saw that's the, uh, the simple ways of testing your coils on your Briggs and Stratton engines uh, and you would also do that the same with uh, any other coils really uh, but you have to do is you have to look up what the uh, ohms resistance has to be so it's a good working one uh, anyway so if you like this uh, video please um, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget that little bell down the bottom there uh, so you can see my future videos and anyway for that's all it is there from this one and till next time cheerio